For most of us, cereal is the breakfast staple, but cereals ain't cereals. Some are just a glorified sugar hit. So we got the experts to test the family favourites for taste, value and nutrition. Good morning. Good morning. I like cornflakes because it's crunchy. Good morning. Oh, corn corn pops. Good morning. What you like isn't always what's good for you, and cereal is the prime example. These are not healthy choices for first thing in the morning. Despite promises of weight loss, nutrition and low-fat content, many ready-made varieties actually hinder, not help, a healthy diet. This overall image of breakfast cereals being healthy, whereas actually an awful lot of them in that aisle are processed, Seven teaspoons of sugar. If someone handed it to you like this, I doubt that many people would eat it. But what about if you were given a bowl of cereal? The scary thing is that both of these contain around the same amount of sugar. That's right, in this small bowl, there's up to seven teaspoons of sugar. Good morning. So how does your favourite stack up? If it's something like Special K, Just Right or Nutrigrain, you might be in for a shock. Nutrient grain, it says grain. Most it's of us would think that's food. food. Yeah. <laughs> but actually it's just a very processed product with lots of added sugar. Tonight, nutritionist Joanna McMillan's cereal shootout. 20 of the most popular all ranked and divided into four groups, from the most healthy to the least. Let's start at the bottom and work our way up. If we look at the sugar content, all of these have more than 30 grams of sugar. The Cocoa Pops there has more than 35 grams of sugar per 100 grams. Group number four includes things like Cocoa Pops, Fruit Loops and Frosties. Hardly a surprise there. Perhaps less obvious inclusions, Nutrigrain and Just Right. I usually eat Wheat Bix, but uh, if I had my choice, occasionally the odd Cocoa Pops would be nice. In the next group, rice bubbles, cornflakes and Special K. And the advertising tells us that that's one of the best. I get lots of clients who choose Special K believing that that's the one that's going to help them to lose weight. Joanna says it's definitely not the right choice for losing weight. Moving up again to group number two. Not the best on the market, but a good healthy option. These ones are good because they're made from whole grains. They're giving you that really good fibre content. They don't have the added sugar. The main criticism, they don't have a low GI. The lower GI, the better. You shouldn't get hungry again as quickly. Lots of kids like things like wheat bix and nothing's wrong with those cereals, at least they're whole grain. They do have minimal added sugars to them, but they're not low GI and that's the only thing against them. Now to the winners, the top picks for the ultimate kickstart to the day. Traditional oats, natural style muesli, digestive first, the world's best cereal, Guardian, Sustain and All Brand. So your absolute best are low sugar and salt, high fibre and low GI and they're your best choices. World's Best Cereal is a new player. It's gluten free and costs up to $20 a bag. The difference with this cereal is because of the fat content and the protein content and the fibre content and it being not processed, is you get long lasting energy that takes you all the way through to 11, 30, 12 o'clock. I've tried a lot of cereals on the market. I tend to stick to muesli. I'm a bit of a muesli girl. The rankings are purely based on nutritional value. For taste, we enlisted the help of the Thomas family. I would buy this one for the kids. I prefer Cocoa Pops. This one's um, very nice, it's got a lot more flavour to it. The adults' top pick, Digestive. The kids, Guardian. Let's face it, kids can be fussy eaters. That's really plain without any honey or something in it. If yours refuses to eat the grainy types, Joanna recommends go. mixing that with one of their favourites. This will help them get used to the taste, then slowly remove the sugary one. Alternatively, add some honey or yoghurt to boost the flavour, but be smart with the milk. Children from the age of five can have fully skimmed milk if they like it, but certainly from the age of two they can choose a low-fat milk. Good morning. And there's more information about those cereal results at our ACA website.